I want to start doing more video. This is my bike. My English racing bike, which, yes, has seen better days, but you know what? I like it. And I'm happy with it. And I need a new kickstand. But there's a lot of cool stuff I would like to do with video. And having a vlog is one of them. Bike mode. Selfie stick bike mode. Hey, there we go. Ugh. Luckily I can edit all this down at some point. So against this guy might be kind of hard. That's uh, the way you do this. Riding along. I don't know how. Yeah, it gets a little bumpy, but if I get on the road, then it's okay. I can do it better on the road. Because there's a lot of stuff that I want to make videos to illustrate that people can do with video. And uh, I'm not exactly an aspiring filmmaker, except I wasn't. <laughs> and I was reading Casey Neistat's um, Wikipedia yesterday, and I'm like, oh, he's a filmmaker. And I thought, well, you know, now how hard is it, be is it really to make a decent independent video, a film. I mean, I have a really good um, camera, right? I have a D3200, which takes fine video. It just overheats after 19 minutes. So here we are on Main Street, coming up on where we turn down to go to the Bow Lounge, which also doubles as an ice skating rink. The ice skating part over there is called the Norway. We have a building and I think bathrooms and concession stand here. And then here we have our Bow Lounge, which is the subject of today. So, as you can see, there's a nice area here. That little depression is our wintertime skating area. And that hill right there, if we closed it down, would make an awesome, oh, yeah, <laughs> awesome sledding area. Sorry, my bike. And there's not a lot of parking here right now, but there is on-street parking. And this is a little used street parking-wise. So there is really ample parking. Plus there is this lot that's for sale here. And with the new laws about uh, flood insurance, it's going to be difficult to sell property for new construction in a flood zone, which this obviously is, this close to Penn's Creek. And here is Penn's Creek. We should take a ride down Penn's Creek sometime. I don't have a kayak, but I do have a canoe, and uh, which originally we got because Vi was too little to have her own kayak and uh, this seemed better rather than to try to stick her in a kayak with me which was fairly uncomfortable to uh, take her in a canoe which is what we did so this is Penn's Creek which is awesome for kayaking I think the trip down from New Berlin is about 10 miles if I'm not mistaken and like I said you can put in further north than that if you want to. And there are a good number of fish in here. Um, we came fishing down here a couple times last year and Vi was the only one that caught fish, but she did catch <laughs> fish. So uh, that was a good thing. We put a merchant's sign down here, say over by the little, um, little Norway building telling people what businesses are uptown 
the hotel, various restaurants, things like that, it could actually send some business uptown because when people are done with a kayaking trip, a lot of them are probably tired and looking for refreshment, maybe a place to stay, and they could plan their canoe trips to end up here and have a convenient hotel like the one on Main Street in Seals Grove. So um, it would be fairly easy to do because like I said we have a reasonable amount of parking here on the street back there and in this little lot here and it can uh, be a year-round place for people and in the winter there is outdoor skating which is pretty awesome. I remember when I was a little kid my uncle used to uh, take me to a pond ice skating in the winter and it was it was awesome times. Riding home from the boat launch now. Love bike riding. When I lived in Brooklyn, it was my uh, main source of transportation during the day and into the evening. some weather. <laughs> 